Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy Worth and Priceless, and today's podcast is titled, Step Out on Faith. Now, stepping out on faith is scary. But for some of you, you know that it's something that you have to do. And I pray for someone, this is confirmation for you, that you need to take that leap of faith. I know a lot of times in my own life, I have, I've had to step out on faith. I didn't know what was next, but I knew that God was going to make a way, and He and He did. It wasn't an easy battle, but it was necessary and it was worth it in the end. So, one time that I did have to step out on faith. Um, it was scary. I basically lost everything in order to basically have my freedom. And I ended up sleeping on my mom's couch, me and my daughter. And I basically lost everything. I went from having a three-bedroom apartment to basically, like I said, staying on my mom's couch for months. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't, you know what I mean? I had a job, but I didn't know what was going to happen. But God provided, and he made a way. So what I'm saying is, I know people are like, well, that doesn't sound, you know, peachy keen or, you know, the grass is greener. But the thing is, it's like it's not going to, it may not be a walk in the park for you. Another time I had to step out on faith, I ended up moving from New York to Georgia, the next day I went down there, I got a job. I got like two jobs just from basically being down there. But one of my jobs didn't start for a month. So it's like even even with stepping out on faith, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna you're not gonna have obstacles. But God is always working on your behalf. And he's showing you more and more what you're made of. You don't know what is on the inside of you until you just trust in God. I didn't know all the things that was inside of me, and I'm still learning. I'm still learning on the journey and everything, but more and more God is showing me what is on the inside of me. The thing is, I was in an unhappy situation, unhappy relationship, but I tried to stay just because I wanted to make it work. I felt as though this person was the one for me. I wanted us to work out. We were together for so long, like, yo, this could be the one. But more and more, it was showing the opposite, and I knew I had to get out one way or another. And it wasn't done on my time, but it was done on God's time. And with that situation, like I stated before, I lost everything. Went from a three-bedroom apartment to sleeping on my mom's couch to having a hard time finding a place for me and my daughter to stay to God making a way for me to find a place to stay. And it was the best apartment, uh, you know, I mean, great neighborhood, everything quiet and everything. It just takes time, but it still wasn't without obstacles. Right after I lost my job, my daughter was diagnosed with autism. It's like, oh, heck, like everything fell apart. And it was like, okay, like what is going on? Like, God, I did what I thought you told me to do. And this doesn't look like the grass is greener. It doesn't look like whatever. But God changed everything and turned my life around. There's things that God cannot release to you while you're in the situation that you are in. There have been no way for God to release the things that he's doing for me now in that season. I either would have squandered it or it would have been messed up. There is no way that God could have allowed me to write three books in that situation. My mind wasn't clear. I wasn't thinking about that. 
I was in an unhappy situation. So that was basically the thing that was on my mind the most. Like, you know, let's try to work this out. Let's try to, that was, that was taking control over my mind. And God had to separate me to clean me off, wash me off and make me basically go on a journey to find out who I was and who he created me to be. And I know some of you are like, I just want this situation to work out. And, you know, why isn't God answering? You may not be in a place for God to answer those types of prayers for you. You may not be in a place where God can give you those things that you that he wants you to receive. It's like if you're in a place, just say you're sitting in a place and you're in a place around thieves, give or take. You're sitting there and you're like, God, I'm waiting on you to, you know, bless me or whatever. Why would he bless you around thieves so they can take everything from you? Why? Why would he bless you in a place where you're unhappy or your mind isn't free? You're not going to enjoy the fruits of the labor. So sometimes God has to separate you. But a lot of times what we want to do is stay within the comfort zone. Some of you, you may not be happy, but you're too afraid of what's on the other side. So you just stay there and you just hope that everything gets better. But I believe God sent me to tell you that you have to step out on faith. There is so much more on the other side. Now, I'm going to tell you this, like I've said, not to scare you, but it may not be easy. You may have to sleep on your mom's couch or a friend's couch or to get to where you have to be. But God is using all of those things to build you up and make you realize who he is and what he can do for you and what he has put inside of you. You have everything on the inside of you. And some of you, you know it, and some of you, you don't. But if you keep staying in a place where you're unhappy, that makes you unhappy, you'll never get there. And trust me, you won't get there because God isn't going to bless you in mess. If your whole house is dirty or you're a hoarder or something like that, just, you know, just say all the mess that's in your mind. If it was spewed all over your house, why would God bless you with abundance? Just to put it back on top of all the mess? No. When you really have something that's nice, what do you usually do? You clear everything else out the way. And that's what God is asking you to do. Some of you have to clear everything else out the way. Clear your mind up. Clean all of that up. And you don't have to do it by yourself. God will make a way for you. But... As always, before you ask God for those things of the abundance and God, if there's people around me that shouldn't be there, you know, please remove them. Before you pray those prayers, ask God to prepare your heart for that because it's not easy being in a situation where you're with people, whether it's friends, relationships or whatever. And then you ask God that if anybody is around me that's not supposed to be there, please remove them. And then he removes them. And if you're not ready to for that, it is a hard pill to swallow. And some of you and some of us, I've done it myself, you go right back to the thing that you ask God to remove. Be careful of that. And you're going to have to stand tall. Because a lot of times when you leave situations or people behind, their reaction is not something that you are even anticipating. And you never know how someone is going to react once you once you reject them. You never know because everybody cannot deal with rejection. So, but that's a totally different situation, but... 
I wanted to give you, let you see all sides because I, I don't want to scare you, but I do want to try to have you somewhat prepared as much as possible because it's not easy stepping out on faith, but it is necessary because I realized that I could never be where I am right now. It's not saying that I've made it or nothing, but I am damn sure way farther than where I used to be. And with that being said, I know that I would have not been able to have had any parts of where God is taking me right now, where I am right now. I would never been able to have this in that environment. So I just want to give you guys encouragement. I'm not saying that you may have fortune, fame, or this, that, and the third, but you will have the life that God has created for you if you step out on faith. It's not going to be easy, but it's necessary. You have one life to live. Live it in abundance. Be happy at least one part. You owe it to yourself. At least some part of your life, please choose happiness. Choose joy. Don't sit around in situations that you that make you unhappy. You have a choice to make. And I know that the person that you might be laying next to or your friends that's around, you don't know a life without them. But it is necessary for you to have the life that God has created you to have. He didn't create you to be unhappy. He didn't create you to always be arguing with someone or having to always have to compromise or have a million different conversations and no change. That's not what he created you for. He created you to have life and have life more abundantly. Have peace, have joy. Crying every night is not what he created you for. For you to be unhappy, that's not what he wants for you. And that shouldn't be what you want for yourself. So in this time, for who all need to hear it, choose yourself. Be selfish for a moment. Step out on faith. Do what is needed. Pray to God that that is what's needed. Some of you... You might just need to pray. And maybe stepping out on faith may not be for you at this time. But for the others that it is for you, you know what you have to do. God has a plan for your life. It's not over for you. Don't stay somewhere that makes you unhappy. Don't slowly sabotage yourself. You're better than that. You have so much more inside of you. Trust and believe that it will all work out, no matter what it looks like. Always know, once again, that you have worth, you have value, you are necessary on this earth. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Always know that you are worthy, worth it, and priceless. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.